Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another Chart Nerd TA video. We're going to be diving into a general outlook uh, sort of perspective on the whole market, looking at a few different charts here. So we're going to be looking at Bitcoin to start off with the total market cap, the DXY, uh, Bitcoin dominance, and, and just a few charts to try and get a general overview look of, of the current market conditions and, and what's what's occurring here in, in current financial states uh, so to speak so diving in straight away to bitcoin we can see the bitcoin for the past couple of weeks has been struggling to retain uh, any kind of support uh, and is, is basically stuck between a rock and a hard place i think um from this massive capitulative candle that we experienced through the ftx news uh, and, and at the moment uh, generally speaking in regards to market conditions we aren't very stable and there's you know there's not much positivity flying about at the moment um, which is, I think, during a bear market or during harsh capitulations or push downs, whatever you want to call this, um, I think is pretty normal. Now, for Bitcoin to go through cycles like this, it is, again, relatively normal. During normal bear markets, we see Bitcoin uh, tend to, to capitulate from all time highs around 83 to 84 percent. Uh, we had the black swan here, which was actually a very large correction of 72 uh, during COVID. Uh, and even in previous uh, bull markets, we would have had similar corrections like the back here, the uh, 13 to 15 bear market uh, was a 87, sorry, an 86% correction. So for us to, to normally say that this is a bear market, if, if we did have a projection of around that 80 uh, percent more 82 percent maybe because they are decreasing over time i think bitcoin would be looking to come between the 12 to 13k range uh based off of previous data and historical patterns and and, and charts that have played out in the past so bitcoin tends to normally have a horizontal sort of bottom uh, for itself before it starts to capitulate from anywhere uh, and, and during a bear market okay we normally see some sort of descending resistance where you're producing lower highs you coil up into a, a, a corner of horizontal support and you capitulate uh, same way some smaller pattern here you did something very similar coiled up to the corner capitulated met resistance and again you, you had the covid crash which was uh, an unforeseeable event um, and, and really and truly, we didn't experience a pattern very similar to that. Um, but I think this this massive wave here is very uh, irregular, so to speak. Uh, and I think it was artificially pumped by the likes of Elon Musk and Tesla, so on and so forth, except in Bitcoin and just all the positive good news around crypto at the time. So we did get very, very overextended. Now, we have therefore seen a very, very extensive crash. Uh, so to speak, uh, and obviously with with market conditions and the cost of living crisis, the economies, things aren't looking too great as an overall perspective. So for us to kind of pick a bottom here, I think it's not something we need to try and do. I think we need to work with the times, work with uh, the, the data in front of us and, and, and also keep in, involved what's going on around in the socials and things like that, because it's very important. Uh, in, in regards to, to how people and, and the human mind sort of deals with certain situations. Uh, and a lot of people have weak hands at the moment, especially new retail that got involved uh, on, on the blow off tops of 2021 that are potentially still holding. Um, you know, all this pressure, if you're relatively new to the market, could just cause a, a, a cascading effect, which is what's happening right here, okay, from negative news and uh, again okay bear market or not again that, that we have the potential chance to come down to find these local previous uh, sort of resistance points that bitcoin has not back tested uh since 2020 the likes of 19 and 2020 uh back down at those 12k prices okay because since you've broken out of this level of resistance you have not come back to retest it uh for support so that again potentially just shows that potentially bitcoin is looking to come back and back test it you've lost this previous bull run high of, of 2017 into 18 okay and that's again a very negative sign you're currently losing this little cluster of support that we had on november 2020 so your next target again would be this top here and and this level of support and i think an average medium for that would be somewhere in this area between 13 to 12k as we keep saying now what might give a bit more confluence to to just looking at the bitcoin chart okay we're going to get a fib on um from this um august 22 2022 top okay that 25k that we pushed to retracing down to the 17.6k that we was holding in june uh you could see that currently speaking um bitcoin has lost the one fib at 17.5 it's been pushed down to the 1272 at 15.9 okay and uh, you know currently speaking that's where we're sort of pushing towards with with, uh, with a bodied candle at the moment obviously this this week will play out we'll see how it goes today but if you do see 
uh, Bitcoin start to close below this price uh, towards the end of this week and get a candle close below the 1272, I would be looking for a minimal 1618 target at 14K. Uh, for BTC and you can see that that 14k uh, ties up kind of bang on with uh, this high here uh, back in 2019 that Bitcoin since breaking out hasn't back tested at all so from losing this a little bit of cluster of support which Bitcoin's currently holding on to right now as you can see if you start closing below that which is the 1272 at 15.9k again it looks like you are trying to retest this 1618 area and this local top here and um 2019 so that's what we're going to keep in mind for bitcoin right now those are my targets moving forward if we do start to lose support of this 15942 and close below it this week hit it as resistance and potentially come back down to the 1618 of 14k retest this high here uh, and if that is lost then you look again for this two fib down at 12.2k in my opinion and this local high of support here too uh, or, or previous resistance should we say that you kind of coiled up broke out of and are now retracing back towards so we have got further downside targets to to look i'd say look forward to you depending on how you see it i mean fear never feels like opportunity but if bitcoin wants to come down to these levels again that does tie up with that sort of a 80% bear market correction uh, and, and it could just be providing optimal opportunity in these markets moving forward and, and, and it just never feels like opportunity. So again, not financial advice guys. I do think potentially Bitcoin is looking at further pushes, push downs here uh, and you can see that if I get the EMAs on here too, we are still very overextended in price from the 20 and the 55. If this was to come down further and the gap was to get even larger, I do think if you had that push down, you'd be very far extended from these EMAs, wherever they may be, okay? You'd be very far extended from them. There'll be a huge gap between them. And at some point, okay, you're gonna get a retracement at least back into these EMAs, uh, again, on which Bitcoin, I think in the near future would make a decision. So you tend to do get when you fall through fibs, you hold or you back test resistance and fail. You come back through, hit resistance. You know, as you do here, look, you come down, you come back to support, you've come up, you've created a lower high, therefore you've crashed. If you come down now, create a high and a lower high, okay, then you're looking to crash, uh, you know, and, and just basically continue the trend. The trend is your friend until the end. Um, so that's the Bitcoin chart looking at that right now. So these are my targets moving forward to 14K. <clears throat> If we look at the total market cap, okay, so this is every single cryptocurrency involved within the space, stable coins, DeFi, whatever it is, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the coins involved here, we can see that on, on, on here, uh, potentially, we also have further downside in regards to the whole space. I mean, because we're losing this one fib currently. Uh, right here. So this was our low for the total market cap on June, which was set, sitting at roughly uh, 762 billion. Um, and you came up, you've been creating lower highs and right now you've been forced down just like crypto did with the news and the whole market has lost this one fib. And currently speaking, we did close out of, of that, I think last week, uh, we closed just on it actually, 763. So right now we are being pushed down and because we are losing this one fib, I think the market is looking to test 679 billion in the near short term. Uh, with a potential depending on how I think Bitcoin behaves and the rest of the market behaves at this point If you do see relief into the the one fib again and fail to hold that potentially you're going to be looking to retracing to half half a trillion dollars basically 585 billion so for the loss of this this right here my short-term target would be 679 and this would indicate that the whole market still has more downside to come uh, because we are losing this this uh, one fib here at 763 so in the near short term we are looking for a 679 on a more zoomed out perspective uh, and again you're just basically continuing this trend down and you're, you're being forced down until you find a bottom and start to break out again so that again confirms that potentially because we've lost this one fib um, we are looking to retrace to, to lower uh, total market caps of, of the whole space. And yeah, that, that just kind of ties up with the crash that Bitcoin may be coming forward with in, in the next coming days. Again, it's not financial advice. I could be completely wrong here, but uh, to me, again, it does look like we are looking to, to have some sort of larger retracement. Now, this is the DXY. Okay, now... <clears throat> the inverted correlation between the DXY is when the DXY is sort of on this insane rally, this is when you're seeing Bitcoin basically roll over and the crypto space is kaplunking along with the stock market, so on and so forth. 
Um, and right now, we was looking at this, well, we saw this large move over the past few weeks where the DXY, it was the biggest downside move the DXY had for, for a very long time. Uh, and normally in correlation to that, you would see the crypto market increase uh, or, or at least pick up some sort of strength uh, as, as the DXY comes back for support. But with the news of FTX, we actually witnessed an experience similar to this um, on the DXY with Bitcoin. And instead of this coming down and Bitcoin going up, uh, the DXY came down and Bitcoin also went down with it. So unfortunately, again, this is what I think is due to manipulation and a lot of other scenes and factors that are going on within the markets and the economy right now. Uh, and and to, to, sign up, to kind of fortify that... <laughs> Again, there's not always a hundred percent correlation here. Okay, there's other factors that can manipulate the DXY and Bitcoin, and there are times when the the, uh, the DXY has been going down, Bitcoin's going down, the DXY is going up, and Bitcoin's going up. They don't always have an, a a sort of opposite interaction, so to speak, um, or correlation. But a lot of the time, it is a strong correlation that when you've got a, a massive uptrend in the DXY, you do get a huge uh, downtrend in crypto. But for the DXY, the DXY is very overextended or it was very overextended from, from its EMAs. And you can see that it's got so far ahead of, of the 20 and the 55 here that it's automatically being forced back down. So whenever you get forced to the downside and you're under the EMA so far away from them in price, you get drawn back to them. When you're in the upside, okay, and you're so far away from the EMAs, you get drawn back to them too. So... What we're seeing here is some sort of pullback potentially to the 20 EMA. Look, the DXY is potentially looking to come back and hold support. Uh, and if this was to occur, technically speaking, this is where you should see crypto bounce. But again, there's so much negativity, so much FUD, so much manipulation going on in the market. So I think the DXY could potentially come down here and crypto could be in, in for a lot of trouble, even though the, the, the DXY is potentially retracing and we should see some sort of impulse. So again, there's something going on here that just isn't right. And I think that just adds to the fact that potentially the total market cap and, and Bitcoin itself is still looking for further downside. Um, where everyone is is literally, literally in depression, complete fear, and and not knowing where to look forward to next. Okay, you see no hope, no future. But again, guys, just look at the zoomed out perspective of of this of this amazing tech. Okay, look from from when people were dis disputing it back in 2011 and 12, it's had an insane. It's it's growing faster, as fast if not faster than the internet. Okay, and 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 the technology behind it and behind blockchain is absolutely incredible. So please don't let price action deter you away. In fact, see this as great opportunities. Okay, you're potentially down here. You're potentially down here in price. Look where you are in price. Okay, you're potentially looking for a leg up. At some point, the lows are going to come, and I, I do believe crypto will basically rebirth once again. Um, the major, the major downside. Okay, I could, again, I could be completely wrong. If we look at this chart here, technically speaking, this red 55 EMA has always acted as support, okay, during a bear market. So then you had this impulsive wave bull market, capitulation, you came down to this red line again, support. Okay, you came up, you was looking to break out, but you came down to the red line again, support. Okay, and this red this red 55 EMA, I keep saying the red line, this is a 55 moving, uh, exponential moving average. This has never been lost. One really negative thing right now is that Bitcoin is closing below it consistently. Whereas before you had a couple of weeks down there potentially and you managed to get back above uh, or a couple of months should i say but down here you're, you're literally being forced further down and you're losing this 55 so that's one really negative thing uh moving forward here that, that could spell a longer sort of trajected bear market f f for the whole of crypto bitcoin whatever it may be um <clears throat> looking to come back to support where you haven't actually back tested for, for many many months because since breaking out of this resistance you didn't come back to back test this you didn't come back to to back test 1k okay and you've just been on this sort of ride and then ever since it's been very very on uh, uh, amazing <laughs> unstable amazing but anyways i think i'm starting to lose myself the the what i'm trying to say here as well is if you start to get this death cross where this yellow crosses to 25 and Bitcoin does something like this and hits its head and starts to roll even further, that death cross indicates to me and you run into it as resistance, it indicates that you are looking for an even larger sort of massive correction, big bear, mar bear market here for Bitcoin and things aren't looking too, too great. Okay, so if you do get this death cross, Bitcoin has never had one of those. Okay, it's never had one, even back here. So you see since its inception, since the EMAs has come up, okay, it's been coming up, it's never had a cross. Okay, these, these EMAs have always been separated from each other, but right now they're drawing so close. And if we do get that cross, it's a very negative thing. Okay, because if you look at the weekly time frame, okay, look what's happened since we got this cross here, when you had the cross of the yellow over the red. 
okay, capitulation. So if we see the same thing on the month, where you get the cross here of the yellow and the red, you're gonna see further capitulation for Bitcoin, basically. So, I mean, just from looking at these few charts here already, uh, historically over long-term potential for crypto markets, I think the outlook is very, very good. Uh, and uh, not financial advice, but I think it's a great investment if you invest into the right areas. Again, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not gonna advise where to, where to invest. I just solely love what I do and uh, I enjoy doing TA updates for many projects. Um, but yeah, the long-term outlook I think is, is relatively healthy for, for crypto, Bitcoin and the space as a whole. I think that 90 .9, 99.9% of, of projects, you know, we've got 20,000 crypto projects. Um, and the supply of these projects is going up whilst people have less money to purchase currently. So I do think there's going to be a, 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 a large sort of flush of certain projects um, within this if we do see further uh, sort of downside prices for Bitcoin because I don't think many will be able to hold hold the strength through that and will be liquidated again, which is quite negative. So there's just a lot in front of us that's showing us there's more downside to come. I've tried to give you some targets on the Bitcoin chart not too long ago. We've looked at the DXY. We've looked at the total market cap that is still showing us potential downside. The last chart I wanted to look at here um, was the Bitcoin dominance on the, on the monthly time uh, on the weekly time frame. Sorry. So on the weekly time frame, Bitcoin dominance. This is where you start to see altcoins potentially start to decrease in value because more people are thinking okay it's a safer bet to, to move into bitcoin okay it's not as unstable as other alts okay during bear markets bitcoin may come down 85 percent but you will see altcoins uh go to 90 plus figures of cor corrections 95s 99 percent. some get liquidated so we know and we've experienced again with, with many projects in, in the past um so again, I think the dominance of Bitcoin here, especially in this pattern here where it's come up, it's met resistance, it's come back from the higher low. I think Bitcoin's dominance is looking to increase. If it does tackle out, then it's going to again start to retrace to, to higher highs of which it's been to before. And this is where you could see altcoins and the rest of the market potentially poo themselves, so to speak. Uh, but this is again a bullish chart here for the Bitcoin dominance and the, the dominance of Bitcoin against the rest of the total market cap, it, I think is looking to grow, which again is a, a negative sign overall, I think, for the market markets um again you're currently sitting at 40.9 percent if bitcoin's dominance goes to 41.9 that doesn't seem like a big jump but again the markets could see a negative downside to that so do keep an eye on the bitcoin dominance as this is going up okay and starting to retrace um potentially the altcoin markets and the rest of the crypto are starting to come down a little bit further and taking a bit more of a harsher battering than than what what bitcoin itself is so we can see that bitcoin now is down 1.4 percent if you look at other alts some of them are down 4.73s 1.75s 1.84s 4.2 percent for algo three percent for imx you know io to three percent so a lot of alts tend to suffer a lot more against bitcoin during a bear market and that's why the dominance of bitcoin tends to go up as soon as people start to realize okay it might be a safer bet to put something short term into bitcoin itself and hold hold my earnings or assets there so yeah guys we just need to to keep our eyes out here uh, one last thing for me before i go um on the daily for bitcoin we've got this uh 15.6k low right here and again i think we've had this sort of uh bear pennant or flag or however you want to call it the bitcoin's actually lost now so we was calling up between support and resistance we've lost that and now you're retracing back down to this low here at 15.6 so i do think over the coming days bitcoin will reach that sort of level um just from the loss of this support that we was holding for f since the 9th of november the early weeks of november uh, and potentially you've just come up you've met into resistance you've lost support you're retracing to this low if we do start to lose that low if we do start to lose that low again for me, you've got the 14K targets that I, I, I think I previously said to you in another um, mentioned to you earlier in the, in, the, in the earlier stages of the video. 14K, again, that sort of area is where I'm looking to, to get involved and, and potentially buy in some more and some certain alts or whatever it may be. But again, we'll look at that in the, in the times moving forward. But Bitcoin has ran into, it's ran into strong resistance. It's met resistance, okay, of previous support. So this was the June low that we was holding. You can see you've come up, okay, you've rolled down, you've lost it, turned it to resistance. And right now you're pushing down further, lose that 15K. We have those downside targets to 14 uh, and we will keep an eye on this moving forward. So yeah, guys, that's a quick update for you today on uh, Bitcoin. If one last thing as well, if we was to start getting rejected here and having like a forceful wave down an another large push, so to speak, uh, and you do come down to that 14K target, 
this EMA is going to be again on the daily and this is going to get a larger gap and you're going to be so overextended from the EMAs at this point I would expect some sort of relief but again guys fear never feels like opportunity if you do lose this support of 15.5k and do come down to these 14k targets uh please try not to panic not financial advice but I hope you enjoyed today's video guys from Chartner TA until next time do take care guys peace out